In this um, spreadsheet skills for beginners tutorial, we're going to learn how to write functions to work out the average and the total for the test scores for our pupils. Um, I'm going to show you two ways of doing this. The other thing I'm going to show you is how to what we call autofill a function, so that once you've written one here, you can basically drag it down into the other cells. Um, the first one we're going to look at is an average function. And I'm going to show you two ways of writing this. First of all, I'll show you how to type it out. Now, our first step is to select the cell where we want our average to go. And then in the formula bar up here, we'll type equals. Now, because we're typing an average function, we're going to type in the word average. This tells the spreadsheet what we want to calculate. And then you open brackets. Now, what I'm going to do is take my mouse and click and drag on the cells that I'd like to average. I'm then going to close my brackets and press enter. There we go. And that calculates the average of the cells I've just selected. That's what this means. Equals, we're going to write a formula. Average, this is what we want to do. Brackets E2 to G2, these are the cells that we'd like you to look in and take an average of. Now, another way of doing that would be, in your home tab, up here, you get your little function icon. Drop that down, and you get some of the most popular functions there. If, you're, if the one you're looking for isn't in there, you can always click more functions. But average is quite popular. So we're going to click that. And it assumes that I want to create an average of cell H2. It's wrong in this case. So what I'm going to do is click and drag to show it where I do want my average calculating from. Once again, let go of my mouse and press the enter key. And that'll give me an average there. Now, you could go on writing those averages all the way down. Depends how many pupils you've got. Or, I'll just get rid of this one. This average is taken from cells E2 to G2. This one's going to be taken from cells E3 to G3. This average is going to be taken from cells E4 to G4. Now, it's just occurred to me that you might, know, might not be understanding what I'm saying when I say E4 or E3. If you've ever played battleships, this is column E, and that's row 2. So this cell is cell E2. This one is cell F. Two, and so on. That's what we call a cell reference. Um, now I've written this average function here, E2 to G2. This one's going to be E3 to G3, E4 to G4, E5 to G5, and so on. Um, if you've got a pattern like that, what you can do, once you've got your first function in, is, hold, is hover your mouse over the bottom right-hand corner of the cell, so you get this little black cross, and drag, click and drag, down. This is what we call autofill. So it will now calculate an average and it'll alter that formula as it auto fills it down to apply to each row. Now you'll notice here these are a bit untidy because we've got recurring decimals. So what I'm going to do is highlight all of that column and up here I'm going to reduce the decimal. If it's going to be eight, take ages because it's a recurring decimal, what you can do then is change the format here to number, and it automatically defaults to two decimal places. If you're still not happy, right-click, Format Cells, and you can choose Number, and here you can alter the number of decimal places. Now, this is, the, uh, this is the method I use if you're using an earlier version of PowerPoint, because it's not as immediately obvious at the top in the Home tab um, what to do. So if you're using an earlier version of PowerPoint, I would just right-click and use the Format Cells menu. There you go. Now, our next step is to put in a total for the total marks for the three tests. This, in the average function, we used an average. This time, the function we're going to use is called a sum. I'm going to use my little function icon up here, sum, and it'll assume I want to use these four. Now, I obviously don't want to include the average, so I'm just going to highlight cells E2 to G2 again and press enter, and that'll just add them up for you. Once again, you can practice auto filling. There we go. So that's how to write average functions and sum functions to calculate an average or to add things up. Have a go.